Hi, I'm Pattu from Preven Cal. Today, let's talk about Nifty 50 SIP returns. The returns have jumped by 7% or uh, more than 7% uh, from April 2020 to uh, November 2020. But uh, most amusingly, the the trends, uh, the return has have been going down while uh, the index has been moving up, as we shall see. So. If you had uh, calculated the returns of a 10 year Nifty SIP in April 2020, it was as low as 3.85%. That's an all time low as we shall see below. And uh, uh, that 3.85% uh, has become 11.2% in November 2020. That's an increase of 7.34%. Now, if you look at the 15 year returns of Nifty SIP, these are all SIP of total returns index. Uh, which means dividends are included. This was as low as 6.86%, again, another all-time low, and it improved to 10.96%, almost 11%. Now, don't get too happy about this. Uh, uh, the, that, that looks nice, the returns look nice, but it only tells you that if you simply do an SIP, the returns are just gonna fluctuate up and down. If the market goes up, the returns will be up. The market goes down, the returns will be down. There is basically no uh, risk reduction or return enhancement in an SIP, it just follows the market. I've been saying this a year again and again and again, but my aim is to reach new investors again and again, and therefore I'll keep saying it again and again. Of course, uh, distributors are gonna get annoyed by it, but that's fine. They can start their own YouTube channel and uh, criticize me, that's fine. All right, so uh, just to give you a very dramatic example of how, uh, uh, of timing luck, uh, or uh, everything depends on when you look. Uh, if you had started an SIP on the 1st of November 2010 and looked at the returns at 10 years later on the 2nd of November 2020, you would have got 9.7% returns. Eight days later, just eight days later, if you had looked at the uh, looked for the, uh, uh, the returns on the 10th of November 2020, uh, you would have got almost 2% uh, more returns. Uh, the level return would be 11.2%. So it just moves up and down, and uh, it just depends on when you look. I've been saying this again and again. If least if you simply believe uh, those who sell mutual funds, those who have a conflict of interest and keep doing an SIP. You are basically um, uh, leaving the fate of your investments to luck. People assume that I am against an SAP. I'm not against an SAP. I am just against mindless investing. If you have a plan in place and then you start an SAP, I have no problem. But most people don't have an investment plan. We will talk about what to do um, in, a, in a minute. Uh, so this is the, let me just make this smaller. So uh, the the red line here is the 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 Nifty, and that's uh, 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 a reference to the right axis. The green uh, dots are ten year Nifty SI Nifty fifty SIP returns. Every dot is a ten year SIP XIRR return. Every orange dot is a fifteen year SIP return uh, in the Nifty fifty. Notice that the index is moving up. The, uh, the green dots have been moving down and it reached an all time low here in March 2020 and now it has gone, gone back up. But still the trend overall is opposite to the price which is, uh, uh, which is uh, worrying because to be honest, you can't look at the past and say I, you, I will get 12% return, 15% return, that's just garbage. You have to. If you get 10% return, you are very, very lucky and this is before tax. And the similar data is also shown for uh, the, um, uh, sorry, I think I have it here. Yeah, this is the data for uh, Nifty 500. Amusingly, the Nifty, in, uh, the NSE website has got more history for Nifty 500 than for the Nifty itself. And you can see here, even uh, after the 2008 crisis, the returns were more than 10%. But now, today, uh, uh, the returns are uh, barely 10% after the recovery from March 2020 crash. You can see the uh, uh, huge difference, right? This is the bottom of the 20, 2008 crisis and this is the recovery and now it's about 10%. So, uh, you can see it's falling down. 
So please don't expect too much returns in future. Of course, if I have another uh, post on the uh, dollar cost averaging uh, returns of S&P 500, and if you look at it over 70 years, 80 years and so on, the returns will fluctuate up and down. It will be cyclic. Uh, there, is a, there is a possibility for these dots to move up. But for that, the market should move up. The market should really zoom. We should have a nice unified uh, bull market where all segments, small cap, mid cap, uh, large cap, everything moves up in unison for a few years. Then only we should be able to see a very big run. But I don't think uh, uh, that has been the case over the last few years as we've been seeing in the, in the uh, past videos that hopefully that will come sometime soon. Um, again, I, I want to point out uh, to people who don't uh, appreciate, especially the advisors who are watching, please don't watch my channel. Um, what should investors do? Somebody will always comment. This guy is always talking about problems. He's not talking about solutions. I have, I, I have been saying uh, um, what is the solution in every video, but the problem is more, most investors want uh, a solution like put 1000 rupees in X fund. That's that's not the kind of solution. That's just stupidity, right? You don't do that. Uh, I'm, I want to make it very clear. I'm not against an SIP. I'm just against mindless investing every month uh, in mutual funds, whether you do it uh, via SIP or you do it manually. I don't care. People assume I'm, I'm talking about timing the market. No, the market can be timed. Uh, but I'm not talking about timing the market. So what investors should do again and again and again, it's the same thing. Have a clear goal, have the right asset allocation, uh, underestimate the return expectation, have a plan to vary this asset allocation systematically to lower risk. Um, the, invest every month or whenever you have money, you can do automated investments or you can do manual investments. It does not matter. All these sales guys will say, no, 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 manual investing behavioral bias. All advisors have all kinds of behavioral biases. If whether you automate or do manual investing, the returns are pretty much the same. Those who don't have discipline don't deserve wealth. I'm fairly clear about that. So and increase your investment every month. Review the portfolio with uh, with in, with keeping your goals in context, you can look at my audit videos, how I do it. Uh, all these steps I have automated using my robo advisory template. You can consider using that if you want. In any case, these are the steps. Anybody can DIY it if they have put their head into it. Just invest the way you want. I'm not talking about how you invest here. I'm, I'm just saying just blindly investing and expecting returns is stupidity you're leaving your uh, the fate of your investments to luck surely your hard-earned money deserves more uh, respect than that please recognize when you put money in the market mutual fund uh, companies will get regular real income because they will deduct it every day from the now they will pay real money to commission to the people who sell funds as commissions your money is in the market and that's completely notional. That's not real money. Whether it is you get loss or gain, it's all notional. So you, unless you redeem it, uh, it's, it's all notional. So don't uh, think I got 10%, 15%. All that won't last if you simply keep on investing without any plan. Bye-bye.